Asha uses all. You have guided my hand, and all has come to pass as you desired. Heresh is nearly united under the command of your humble servant. I, Erentir, answer your call to restore your balance to Ashan. Listen closely, Ornella. Lord Arantir has already conquered half of Aresh. The rest is bound to fall. But why? You told me he was a humble scholar. That's what we all thought, until he offered Asha's final death to four powerful necromancers. Rather grandiose for a bookworm. So how will you impress him? Recite poetry? Indeed. Something suitably epic. I intend to earn his favor by offering him the city of Illuminadin on the silver platter. Lord Malfroy's castle. I thought him your friend, and he sets a most sumptuous table. As any good friend would, he would die for me. We'll let his ghost choose the wine when we toast our entire success. Now, I have a task for you. Command me, my lord. A magic gate recently appeared in these lands. It blocks the way to Illuminadin. I want you to find its key. And then, am I prepared to assault a city? You have much power, Onella. I have taught you how to raise the dead. Further secrets shall be yours once you give me Malfroy's city and his head. Giovanni, how romantic. But is it really necessary? The fewer living souls in Heresh in the days to come, the more valuable Arantir will deem our own. I've never seen such troops before, Master. That seems to be another entry in the log of secrets you've been concealing. You lift your pen too readily. They are new to me as well. Fascinating. They would make us the envy of Haresh and of Arantir. There is an old witch, a friend and confidant of the local lords. She should know the way to create them. Find her and persuade her to share her knowledge with you. As for me, I must go and find more of these troops. What is a bookworm doing burrowing so far from his library? Looking for garlic, I presume? I'm on an errand, retrieving tomes of ancient lore for the wizard Menelag. Menelag, you say? This name sounds familiar. I shall mention it to Giovanni. I suggest you find a tower before the sun sets. After study, the gate has delivered its secrets, Ornella. The key fragment you've just found should help open it, but you'll need the other half. It is probably kept by the same kind of guardian, so I'll keep my eyes open for another similar creature. One last thing. The key is of a highly magical nature and cannot be mended by a simple blacksmith's forge. You'll need to use an elemental conflux. You'll find one to the north. Bravo, Ornella! Now these exotic creatures are part of our legions. How charmingly ghastly. Your lord Arantir himself might even stop and take notice. You were right about the key, my lord Giovanni. The way to Illuminadin is now free. What's the next course for this banquet? Fools! This is madness! Are you also in league with demons? <laughs> Malfroy, old friend, calm yourself. It is me, Giovanni, not some horned fire-spurting demon lord. Blasphemous sorcerers from the Silver Cities have taken control of Illuminadin. I built this portal to lock them inside and spare the rest of my fight their depredations. Now you've just opened the cage to set free the Hellhounds! Malfroy, as a host, you were without equal. 
as a strategist and death lord, you are without merit. I shall receive you, my Freud. Onward, Onella, and keep your troops out of the wine cellar. You have served Asha well, Lord Giovanni, and in her name, I accept your offering. Heresh will again be the fulcrum that guarantees her balance. My lands and legions are at your service, Lord Arantia. Asha uses all. Asha uses all. Might I call your attention to the exploits of Lady Ornella, my apprentice, who felled the gates of Illuminadine? She is my gift of allegiance to you. What? Giovanni! I have heard of her resourcefulness. Are you ready, child, to join us? Serving Asha for eternity or until the final death? Yes, High Lord Arantir. It is my deepest desire. Then soon it will be both your deepest and your only desire. Take your place at the center of Asha's web. Stand alone there, and soon you shall join our endless host. Asha, spinner of death, completer of life. Accept this servant's desire, and leave her only will beyond life. Beyond death, embrace Ornella, Death Lord of Asha. Fool, you thought I did not know of your murderous ambition? You were such a feeble acolyte, always buried in your books. Who taught you to master such power? There's power to be found in books, if first you learn humility. I surrendered to Asha. Her will is my own, and her plans for Haresh don't include the petty and faithless. <sighs> She'll receive me all the same. It is her way. I'll find you in the next life and smite your soul. Asha uses all. Master Arantir, I... I'm at a loss. I didn't know. You are clever, child, but too easily duped by a frivolous and foolish master. You have much to learn. Should I bind your soul to a decaying body? An obedient ghoul you would make. High Lord, allow me to do penance. Let me prove my devotion to Asha. Asha uses all, even the living during their brief and ignorant lifetimes. Very well. Tell me why there were demons here, in Huresh. The troubles in Aluma Nadine were caused by the Silver Cities. Demon worship grows unhindered in the Wizard Lands. The name Menelag was pronounced on several occasions. Menelag? Hmm. A renowned scholar of the Silver Cities. I've read his writings on the demise of demons and the origin of orcs. It is time to pay our neighbors a visit. As for you, my child, servants will take you to Naran Kar, where your spirit shall be further purged in the crucible of the goddess. Asha uses all. Demon worshippers walking Ashan soil. This must stop. I shall destroy them before their power takes root. Asha, give me guidance as I take your legions into the wizard kingdom. Land of faithless magic, birthplace of the valiant orcs, slayers of demons. Corpse lover, idiot believer in incomplete prophecies, prepare for your final death. How opportune. You were heading north to Heresh. What was your purpose? Speak or I shall bind your soul to a dung fly. 
I was escorting reinforcements to my brothers in Illuminadeen. We have taken up residence temporarily in the city. Your lease on Illuminadeen has expired, as have the lives of your brothers who are now before Asha explaining their impertinence. Now tell me, ignominious one, who is the head of your depraved movement? We are inspired by the Lord Orlando. He is the Hierophant of our cult. He's gone underground. A demon within my grasp. I shall find this coward of chaos and send him back to the Sheog from which he came. As our swords conquer this land, our ears must listen for sounds of corruption. Monstrosities from Sheog are easy to fight. Belief is a far more difficult beast to slaughter. The leader of the demon cultists must be found before his foul words taint a shan to its core. Proud guardians of the spinner, may Asha free you of living boundaries long enough to serve her sacred purpose. Join me, and we will serve her together. Greetings, Death Lord. Asha has told us to meet her favored here but only to follow should he prove his strength. She sends you a message. Of great power must my destined champion be. Then shall he crush Chaos's seed and restore my balance. A trap? I expected demons, but not sneaky ones. Hail, Guardians! I come to see you honor your pledge. Greetings, favorite one. We look forward to fulfilling our destiny beneath your command. Asha uses all. This pathetic demon lord was no match for a servant of Asha, and he was kind enough to offer up a key, doubtless to the portal through which he entered. I shall find it, most likely underground. A fortunate encounter, that scion of Urgash. With his key, I shall enter here. You have met this demon worshipper named Orlando. Tell me of him. I've... I've never seen him. Only heard tales. Other wizards speaking. Archmage Menelag was very curious about him. Menelag again? He shares dangerous company. Is he himself a demon cultist? Nothing directly, sire. But he was in the library seeking ancient lore on demons and the legacy of the Seventh Dragon. He's a grand scholar. Where did he go after leaving your city? To the Bull Duchy. He followed the Lord Orlando. The Bull Duchy? Queen Isabel's borders are corrupted by chaos. This ends now. I will not have demon worshippers walking freely upon the face of Ashan. To the Griffin Empire! I have sent young Ornella to awaken hidden cells in the Griffin Empire. I must leave my troops to attend to Horesh and continue our unification. Asha, guide the child, and use her well. Home sweet and bloody home, my old duchy. And there is no love lost. They like me no better as a servant of Asha, but it is no longer their admiration I seek. For it is to Lord Arantir that I must prove myself. And for that, I must build an army strong enough to clear the land of these Red Queen's fanatics. Remember me? Countess Ornella. I was once a friend and servant of your Lord Giovanni. He has met his final death 
I'm afraid. Now I serve an even greater lord, High Necromancer Arantir. Then we will now serve you, milady. Know that there are many like us in the deserted villages, dark forests, and ancient graveyards of this region. They too might be willing to join your army and walk again. Asha uses all. There's also Giovanni's old castle. It is deserted and in ruins now, but should you seize it, it will serve your plans. My thanks for your aid. May Asha bless you for your timely information. This city will provide us with a much-needed base for our operations. Ah, Giovanni, what a useful schemer you were. The Earth itself spoke of your coming. Those of us who have been granted a second existence by Asha will gladly enlist in her legion. Greetings, faithful disciples of Asha. I shall have need of your zombies for Asha's struggle. Who am I to deny Asha's will? Though these zombies are hard-working. Tell me, would you rather have the zombies, or reap the bounty that they produce? Fascinating. What exactly is your offer? Ah, my child, your talents multiply. Asha has chosen well. Thank you, my lord. Asha uses all. What is my next task? This demon lover, Orlando. Though he is as evasive as a beetle ghost, we must corner him. Redirect our troops, Ornella. They are to search for a soulless creature. Tell them to follow the demon stench. Congratulations, Lady Ornella. A brilliant battle. Asha uses all, High Lord Arantir. Look at his terror. We are getting closer to this nest of demon worshippers. Fear is their drink of preference. Demons! You speak treachery! I don't follow Hill's children. Queen Isabel will find you and strip the festering flesh from your blasphemous bones! Then tell us, how is it that a certain Orlando, pawn of the demons, walks your land freely? A demon could never tread our sacred land. The Reformed Church of Saint Isabel and his eminence, Archbishop Alaric, hunt them day and night. A Reformed Church, you say? And this Alaric? I've never heard of him. Who is he? The bishop of the town of Flamshrine. Saint Isabel has declared it our holy city. Alaric is mighty before Elrath. A glance from his most sacred brow will burn your stinking flesh to ashes. Stinking flesh, you say? You shall smell it for centuries. We have all the information we need. Add this new recruit to our army. Shall I prepare the troops to scour the duchy in search of Orlando? No. Asha has shown me our mission. The Griffin Empire is holy no more. We must stamp out its corruption. The Red Queen Isabel is certainly a vector of the plague. But to find its true source, we must move on to this sacred city. On to Flamshrine! Orlando has escaped again. What cowardice drives him that he so fears his own death? Death he cannot know, but he fears something worse. That he fail here and be sent back to Sheog a weakly imp, 
to face the torments of his brothers for millennia.